now. Yo guys, what is going on? Grief HD here, and today we're doing a marquee matchup. So this marquee matchup was a bit weird, and um, it contained quite a lot of clubs and quite a lot of different uh, variety of teams. So for this one, it was just literally like a Japanese squad. It was pretty self-explanatory. All you really needed was the uh, five or the six um, J1 players up front, all in that kind of like bit there. Um, and then you could just get green links here, and then you could just stick any centre back in there. So it's pretty easy. It cost me, uh, I would say, about three. No, it cost me about two k. That one, so that's pretty good. On to this one. So this one cost me quite a bit more than the other ones. Um, obviously, the um, the Spanish players didn't cost me a lot, but the Australian players are absolutely insanely priced. And I was lucky because I had a right back from the Australian league. As you can see, they're eight point seven and eight point eight k. For the Melbourne players, so definitely, if you guys want to make a load of coins, definitely go out and snipe the Melbourne City players because there's loads of them going up on the market. And um, as you can see, we just got green links down the left and Spanish links there. So another pretty easy one if you actually think about it, but quite expensive. This one was just a normal La Liga squad, so um, all you really needed was high-rated and cheap players. So we've got like um, Lopez, we got Savic, which just boosted our rating up a hell of a lot, and then we could just could afford to stick up um, a 400 or 300 coin bronze player there. Um, so we had Sergio Roberto from Barcelona, and I think I can't remember who we had up from Atletico Madrid, but this one was also quite expensive um, we had Invogo in goalkeeper we had Langkamp Sané it was quite expensive um, I think we spent quite a lot yeah we spent 3.2k and 3.2k on the two RB Leipzig players the Borussia Dortmund players weren't actually that bad but they still cost quite a lot of money um, the rest was just like low-end Bundesliga players because we had managed to get that rating up by getting Kagawa and Forsberg in the team. But we get a jumbo premium gold pack for that and we've completed marquee matchups. I don't know whether they're going to do like a different colour of the marquee matchups thing every week. But we've completed marquee matchups being pretty good. So we get five packs from that. We get a rare consumables pack. We get a jumbo premium gold pack. Um, a rare electrum pack. So let's see what we get. So let's go into our five packs. In our first pack... Our rare consumable pack. Obviously, it's just rare consumables. Obviously, I mean, the clues in the name. But we got, um, you know, seven point five k pack. Um, we I can't remember if we get anyone good in this. I don't think we do. I think we just get a non rare. Yeah. So I skipped that one, and I can't remember who we get. Who do we get in this one? We get Costa, Rolando, and Greer. So obviously, I keep all the consumables. Um, I collect. I get all the kits and balls and that, stuff like that. So. They go to the transfer list, and um, I can't remember what I do with the rest, but I just get rid of them. Um, I feel like marquee matchups is going to be a bit more expensive this year, as especially early in the FIFA, as um, players' prices are really, really high at the moment. But we get a board player in this, I think. So we get a board player there as the shine in the pack, and who do we get? I can't even remember. We get... I, 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 you know that moment where you like your, your heart drops because you think you've got someone amazing? I obviously thought I was getting Ronaldo... I didn't actually think I was getting Ronaldo, but we managed to get Pereira, who's an 83 rate to play. He's got pretty good defensive stats, 82 defence and 87 physical. So he'd be better as a centre-back, to be honest, with 68 pace as well. But I won't turn down an 83 player in just a marquee matchups pack. So who else do we get in here? We get Vela, we get a load of non-rares, uh, we get Corona, Phillips, Canate. Obviously, I keep all the consumables. Um, just keep all the consumables at the moment. That's my, um, that's my um, kind of... Uh, thing I do, I just keep all the consumables and kind of like keep everything that you want. Don't quick sell anything because it'll go for something. So if you're hard up on money or you don't have enough coins, obviously go ahead and sell all the consumables. We get another board player in this. Um, who do we get? We get Manola. So it actually goes for 20k, I think. 20 or 15k. Obviously 80 pace and 86 defended. Obviously is amazing for a centre back. So we get Manola, which is pretty sick. And who else do we get? Um... We get Mandanda, Ward, Prowse and Carroll. So we obviously stick them in. Obviously keep all the consumables, keep all the kits um, and stuff like that. So it was actually... <coughs> <coughs> so um, our last pack was actually pretty good as well. We get our third board player in a row, which is pretty... is actually really good. Three board players out of five is pretty good. Obviously in this one we get De Vry. The um, centre back from Holland. Uh, I don't know whether he goes for a lot. I, don't, I doubt it, to be honest. Um, he only has 68 pace. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for a little bit. Maybe not. But we get Kvyshawiak in that one. And we get a load of silver 
rare, rare silver player. So they might go for a little bit on the market. But thank you guys very much for watching this marquee matchups video. Go ahead and complete marquee matchups. It was a little bit pricey, so I reckon to gain some coins on the market, just go ahead and snipe a load of um, Australian League players. I'll definitely be bringing out a video on that. But as you can see, all the players we've got in the transfer list there. But yeah, thank you guys very much. Leave a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you are new around here. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.